Here's Conor McGregor, fresh fresh off the press conference about, you know, 15, 20 minutes ago. Uh, he was asked about, you know, Khabib, and he says Khabib better fight him. Um, I wouldn't say that the uh, security team was necessarily concerned about it, but they were very aware that you were going to be in the uh, hotel this week at the same time as Habib. And I was just wondering if, uh, if that is still a uh, warranted concern, or I mean, if you guys passed that part of your relationship that you could be in the lobby of a, of a hotel and we wouldn't have to worry about anything happening between you guys. You know, all of those events were two, uh, 2018. It's now 2021. Um, what I will say is as long as, as long as we fight again, there'll be no issue. And that's it. You know, if, we, if, if he continues to run, well, I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. <laughs> what? So wait a minute. Wait a minute. Connor, Connor is threatening crime if he doesn't get the fight now? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <sighs> <laughs> There's so many different ways I can go at this. Oh, man. One, dude, he called you a tap machine. Yeah. And you begged him not to kill you. Beg me, please don't kill me. That's not that's not somebody you pick a fight with because he won't fight you. The other reason is the reason why he's not fighting you has nothing to do with the actual fight. He doesn't want you to be rewarded for your shenanigans. That's right. So he would rather not fight you. Well, maybe that's the maybe that's why he's doing the good guy route with Dustin Poirier, showing he's a good guy, so he can no, move and compete for another fight. He already let a little bit ooze out. <laughs> oh, right? he, he can't help it. He can't help it. He can't help it. He can't uh, help it. That depends have a, on him. Do, do, really, really. Uh, Connor, the hotel is concerned about uh, security issues. If you had a run-in with Khabib, uh, could you speak to the guest? No issues, as long as we fight. Like, get out of here, bro. This shenanigans really? is nonstop. Khabib is probably waiting in the lobby to fold his ass up right then and there. He big me. Please don't kill me. Look, I have a question. You get in a fight with a guy. And you have to ask him not to kill you. <laughs> Are you jumping in that ring again? Apparently he is. Oh, Okay. Okay, but 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 how you go about it is going to be different, right? Because it wasn't too long ago you were a tap machine. He was tap machine. Yeah, of course. That's a that's a good point. Actually, we were. Yeah, that's a good point. Thank you, Bob. Your fellow Russian. He uh, he tapped him out. Like no way, no way. There, there. Look, there's a lot of guys. Like for example, when you think of DC and and uh, his nemesis, John uh, Jones, jo uh, yeah, John Jones, right? When you think of those two, right? They don't like each other. No, and and they go, but but there there's some competition there when they go at each other. Of course, right? Of course, it's not. John Jones is, is not saying. That DC is a tap machine. Well, I mean, he did I mean, say he could murder him and take his wife. I mean, he did say right. that. I, I mean, yeah, but oh well, bad example. Yes, because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now that it's I think a, about it, now that I think more... about it, quite yeah, yeah. Oh, like they had to do, they had to do uh, their their press conference in opposite rooms. I will spit on you. I kill you if you yeah, spit on me. He says, "If you spit on me, I will meanwhile they're you. on other sides of the hotel." <laughs> Robbie, uh, what else we got for the press conference? Here's him saying that uh, Connor saying that Khabib's title should be uh, stripped. Ooh, see what happens this week. We'll get him. We'll get him. <laughs> oh, jeez. Hey, Connor. Out of the available lightweights to you right now. Is Dustin the hardest challenge you could be facing? I think so, yeah. You know, I'll always go. I'll always look to get the highest challenge. Dustin has a win over Hooker, who's on stage here. Uh, you know, he, has a win, he knocked out Justin. So there, Justin. there's some high contenders already. Um, Justin, in turn, knocked out Tony, who was another contender. So I think, I'm, I think I'm right at the top here. You know, 
I would make the case if that man is continuing to, to, to dodge this and dodge the commitment of competing again, the title should be stripped and we should be engaging in a, fight, a title fight. You know, so. But I'm sure it will happen after this belt. I'm interested to hear what the, what the excuses or what will be said after the fight, but I, I predict a title strip. <laughs> stop it, Connor! Oh, stop! Don't stop it. Don't stop it. <clears throat> it is funny though. Like he left. Like Connor, Khabib's just trying to get his stuff together. You know, his mom tells him not to fight. His dad just died. You know, he just defended the belt. We're talking two months ago. It was very long ago. Yeah, he says he's not going to fight again. So I don't know exactly why the the belt is retired. You know, Dana's still trying to convince him. But uh, yeah, Connor he left the sport. He went to go box. They were fighting for interim championships for like two years in the UFC. The interim cha- They wouldn't strip him. Hey, if he's dodging, he deserves leave to be stripped. Dead man alone. Oh my goodness! Is there, is there any guy that terrifies you more than Khabib right now? Is there a is there a thing though where you know? Because I'm not if, scared of Connor. If you're if you're Khabib, no. If I'm anybody, but Khabib would frighten me. He begged me, please don't kill me. Jesus. Yes. That's chilling. That, right. That is chilling. Right. He begged me, please don't kill me. You know what could be reminds me of? When Tyson used to come in the ring with terry cloth on. <laughs> right? He, he used to hat. come with, with, a, with a, a sheet. Just a, a sheet cut holes for him to wear. That, that, that guy mean- means business. Robbie, does he have any thoughts on Dustin Poirier? Like, do we have anything there uh, as far as this matchup's concerned, or is he all just Team Petty on a, on Khabib? Because it seems like him and Dustin are best friends now. It's it's very it's very polite, almost uh, almost a look ahead, if you will, Robbie. Just like the uh, just like the Tampa Bay yep. Bucks. You said it's going to take sixty seconds to beat Dustin. It might go longer. But do you have the shot in mind already that you want to finish him with, or is that something that presents itself in the fight? I have a million shots. I have so many weapons in my arsenal. And, you know, they're all fine-tuned at this time. I'm in a phenomenal place. And I look forward to getting out and showcasing, you know, painting my picture and putting on a beautiful performance for the fans around the world. That, uh, that, that, that Irish media gasses him. Connor, what you got to, to knock him out? What you got? What tell you, Ray, you bring into the arsenal? <laughs> You're going to punch him like you punched that old man in the pub. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like he's counting his chickens. Ah uh, yes, uh, this is Patches O'Hulahan from the Hula from the Hooligan Gazette. Ah, uh, what you say? You're gonna hit him over the head with one of them bottles of Proper Twelve. <laughs> the dodgeball guy, Patches O'Hulahan. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, Robbie. What are the headlines we got, man? Oh uh, yeah, and uh, obviously you know the Heat. They uh, did win last night against the uh, yeah they Raptors. did. Yeah they did. We'll get into a little bit more of that. Fifteen minutes of heat, but your boy Kendrick Nunn is back. It, it it's pretty amazing to me what what i've grown to realize is is that one of the toughest things for young players to do is to get into a a flow of your minutes your playing time what's asked of you and then have guys come back and that all change but still be expected to have your same impact with fewer minutes. Mm-hmm. You, you know what I mean? It used to happen for a running back. Like if you know you're going to get 20, 30 carries, you're very patient. Like you're just taking the two, three yards, you're taking the two, three yards, you're taking the four yards, you're taking the five yards, and then one pops, right? 15, 20, maybe even, even longer. That's usually how you get those 100 yards. You don't get 20 carries for five yards. You know, you usually get two, three, 15, 20, one, you know, it kind of, but but you know that you're going to get the carry, so you don't worry about it. Whereas backs that know, I'm only going to get this five, maybe 10 times, you press a little bit. And I think that happens to a lot of the younger players in basketball is that they know that they're only going to get maybe 10 minutes a game. So when they go in there, it's not like they're they're playing basketball at the flow of the game. It's like they're trying to make an impact so they get more minutes. 
And I think that has happened to Kendrick Nunn in a lot of times where he's pressing so much to, to, to garner more minutes that he isn't able to be him. So now that he can relax and play, he knows he's going to play a whole game. He knows that, look, if I don't have this shot, I'll work it so where maybe I'll get it the next series or I'll get it, you know, the next opportunity. I'm not going to take the three here because I see a guy more open. Next time he goes down, he might think, okay, I got to take this because I'm about to come out of the game. So I get it. I get it. Text writes in uh, uh, McGregor wanting a rematch with Khabib is like the Canes fans wanting a rematch with Clemson. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Oh, I still want the Notre Dame shot. Oh, oh the Notre Dame, Notre Dame shot. Notre, give me right. Notre Dame. Give him. Give me the Irish. Really? Give me the Irish and give me man. Give Hold. Manny Diaz would whoop Connor's ass. Hold on. At this point in time, you think. Oh, that is so debatable. You think. <laughs> The Canes could compete with any of those final four teams. Only Notre Dame. Only Notre Dame. Because it's Notre Dame. Only Notre Dame. Okay. Because they're right. frauds. Because they're frauds. Okay. I want the Canes to be. King it did be Clemson. With the, with the backup, come on. Don't care. The quarterback threw for five hundred yards. But the, when hey. they played him again, they got whooped. When it was yes. the real. When it was the real deal. But they did. They did beat him. Not even close, buddy. They did beat him. When Trevor Lawrence what? played, how close did you Notre, how close have you been to beating Clemson? Notre Dame tap machine. How close have you ever been to beating Clemson? I don't know. Let me uh, uh take on what's the backup quarterback's name, Robbie? DJ Uwe Ungale. Let me take on DJ Uwe Ungale and then get back to me. He threw for five hundred yards. Yeah, almost, he was, he was rattling under pressure. He took some big sacks. They never watched him play before. Like they get a little tape on him. We'll see. We'll see. So you think the Canes with the backup quarterback? Could have won. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. No, dude. You, 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 you put yourself the out there. You put yourself out there saying that, oh, we – Seems like oh, we, seems we, for me to make a prediction if there's no game. Like, I don't want to be the okay. guy – but you just did it, though. I just you said just I said want that you game. You Notre Dame. I just said I want that game. Okay. okay. You want always want to play Notre Dame, Leroy. You say it. You always want your shot. Now, listen. The Canes are playing Alabama to open did up Did you season. earn your shot? Yes. They, 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 they had a they – You didn't earn your shot. Dude, we didn't know a shot because of what happened. Do we forget about what happened with North Carolina? Yes, but that's beside the point. Notre Dame should have been on the schedule. That's beside the point. They they already gave Notre Dame the shot once uh, before that North Carolina. The damage is already done prior to the North Carolina game. Made the Canes uh, made the Canes fold up like a cheap suit. That's it. Okay, guy. Do you fold up a cheap suit or you wear all over it like a cheap suit? Maybe you fold it up. I like to go in that in that. In that, Why would you pull up a suit? Hey, in that example, hmm. I like to go with all over you like a monkey on a cupcake. <laughs> 15 or minutes a You heat. folded up your suit because That's you were right. hiding it from your wife. <laughs> oh, man, you're so bad. <laughs>